overview that I'm making of a screen time limiting application called Stay Free. Uh, this is intended for use on computers, so Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, on smartphones, running iOS or Android, or are in browsers like Chrome and Firefox. And it has several different features that we're going over today that help you uh, get an overview and limit uh, the amount of time you use on certain applications. So if you know of an app or a website that's very distracting, uh, you can limit its usage or block it during certain times or uh, enforce yourself to set a limit on how long you use it per session. But first, here is where you get your insight. This is called the dashboard. And you can see per hour of the day or per day of the week until today, uh, the day of today, that is, uh, how often or how long you use your devices in total. You can actually link the devices together, more on that later. Uh, so in the section below this graph, which shows your total usage, uh, you see per application sort of uh, how often or how long you use those websites or programs. You can select here, this is how long, this is if you select it per how often, and you can also select an option called advertisement, uh, but that will be pretty much useless if you use ad blockers like uBlock Origin which also help prevent distractions, but in a very different way. We're going to talk about those in a little short later on. Uh, so once you are aware, at the top end here, you can see the apps and websites and Windows, Mac, Linux programs that you're using uh, the most. And here you can actually select per uh, group by in the chart. So per type or per device. So if I select per device, you can see how much I'm using every device. For example, I have to limit my smartphone time or if it's something to do with a browser usage. Uh, so here is another little drop down that you can use to select for the chart and the overview in which period. For example, from the 20th to the 1st of December, which is when I installed. Uh, if I were to select that, then I would get this type of graph which shows per day. I could even go as far as to go for an average per hour, which is what this is. And again, I can group per device, also per app type, which shows uh, web, iOS, Android, or computer. In this case, it's just web, Android, and Windows. Because I only have Firefox extensions an Android device and a Windows PC connected. So once you're aware which app you're using the most, uh, the next tip is to go to usage limits. So right over here, I can set on the device itself. So here is only on the browser. These are not synced. So for example, I've got a limit for apps on my smartphone, a limit for websites and programs on my study laptop, that is. So here I can see on the main computer I have a YouTube limit for two hours and it blocks after that. Now in this settings menu that can be for an app you've already set a limit for or you can hit this button here to add a new limit. You select the app website program, the action and the limit. So this is uh, hours means down to the very second. And the action can be either to send a notification to show a pop up or to block further use. Now, I've actually got multi level limits on my phone because use over there can be very unpredictable. That after, for example, after uh, 30 minutes, there will be a limit on a certain app that shows a notification, then a pop up, and then the app can no longer be used. Another thing you can do is set them into a focus mode, which is a manually or automatically activated mode that blocks certain apps slash websites. This is not available on the 
uh, programmed for Windows, Mac, Linux, I guess, but it is available in apps for Android and iOS as well as in the extensions. What I can do here is I can either manually activate activate manually for a certain amount of time, it'll be semi-automatic, or I could activate fully automatic for schedules here. If I could select the apps, websites, programs to be blocked. Uh, another option is limit on the go. Uh, that can be done again, I think only on smartphones and on browser extensions. So here the uh, mode is very similar, you activate it automatically, semi-automatically, uh, manually or even on my smartphone if you want to activate it permanently, which means I never turn it off, so it's just turn on for always. And what I can do is I can set schedules, uh, and I can set the websites or apps for which I have to have a, uh, what's called a session limit, so that means whenever I visit that website I have to, I can set a uh, session limit, or I can just use it as is, but I tend to use the session limit very often. Uh, so that's a pretty nice thing to have. So that is for apps that you don't really want a full limit on, like a fixed, but again if it is very unpredictable. And then there is an interesting little side tip which is YouTube Plus, which allows you to save time on YouTube. So you can, for example, here you can hide shorts in the search. You can hide this top bar, I think that only works when you're watching a video. You can hide the recommended videos, turn off the end cards, or disable the autoplay. Though a lot of those can be set up from YouTube as well. And the real best way to prevent distractions on YouTube is just use an app block like uh, uBlock Origin under Firefox. Uh, because YouTube has so many ads that they themselves become distractions for help on videos. There's some smaller things you can do here is get help which allows you to get support via Discord or an email. Settings, you can do things like change regional settings, you can set a reset time for when the next day begins, you can select in the browser, you can select whether or not to track those tabs that play audio or video. Uh, you can send a summary notification which will show you how long you've used your devices together. Uh, you can set the pop-up position. You can set a pin code, or you can have someone else set a pin code and not tell it to you if you're really stubborn about it. Uh, you can set up backups. You can opt out of data collection. This is actually, I think, unlawful under the European GDPR because they require an opt-in for certain types of data collection. Uh, and something that I set on my smartphone it didn't really work, I think, on the uh, browser, and that is called grouping. So, I group related websites and apps to see how long I've or how often I've used them together. So, it's like the sum of those. So, finally, there's managed devices using codes like this one, or I can enter a code here. Uh, I can actually do cross-platform monitoring, so on one device I can see the app usage of another device, and that's been very helpful for me, at least until now, uh, because I'm always aware of my device and app and website usage and can therefore balance everything accordingly. Uh, the smartphone app also has an additional feature, which is if you have an app that you want to increase its usage of, you can set usage goals in which you, it's kind of like a limit but it works exactly the opposite way, you select an app and you select the goal that you want, how long you want to use the app at least, and then when you reach that goal then it sends you a little message. Uh, I think that's really all I have to tell you, I'm going to all disclosure, I'm not sponsored by Stay Free, in fact they're completely free. Uh, application, it's in the name, and it's, uh, but you can get it through common sources. You can go onto their main website. You can find the link to uh, to their programs. The only thing I can warn you is only go to 
website stay free apps.com to uh, get these programs don't get them from some sort of shady download site because you might be installing malware especially on the windows uh, that is very notorious for the sheer amount of malware so just use these links here uh, i'm going to put a link to this site uh, in the description below uh, See you next time. Bye. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do, please give a thumbs up and share this video with all your friends and perhaps consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you and I'll see you next time.